Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of TypeScript, we will learn how we can compile our TypeScript classes with the ECMAScript 5 and 6. So, first of all, let's understand how we can change the compilation target with the ECMAScript 5, 6 and some other things. After that, uh, the second question is, what is the purpose of this video? Why we, are, we want to compile our classes with the 5 and 6? So the reason is whenever you will uh, compile your classes with ECMAScript 5, you will get the different code as an output. And with the ECMAScript, you will get the completely different code. So I want to show you the difference of uh, compilation output as well as we will cover a very important interview question related to the compilation target. So let's start. So our first question is how we can change our uh, compilation target for that let's go to the typescript uh, configuration file or you can see that the ts config file so let's open here you will find a property with the name of target you can change its property value ecmascript 5 6 and all so what are the possible values here you can see that ecmascript 3 5 or obviously 6 also and after that uh, 16 17 18 19 and much more right so you can choose any option from them all right so now let's take a look whenever we are compiling the code with the target ecmascript 5 so i am just going to delete the previous code even we did not change the target version but still i want to show you from scratch so let's delete the typescript file after that we can remove it let's open the app.ts in last video we, cre we created that class and now let's uh, target it whenever we are compiling it you will find that there is some weird code inside this uh, app.js file so what is that code actually there is a function after that there is some prototype and all so what is that so if you are a uh, you can say that beginner or fresher then you may don't understand this code but that that is not actually purpose of this video so the purpose is whenever we will compile this code with the ecmascript 6 then what will be the change here i will show you but let me explain a little bit this code so here we have a function with the name of user and we call it constructor function all right so what is that construction function basically this is a special type of function that can be uh, converted in an object also here you can see that with a new keyword we can create an object from it and after that we can call these functions like add users and all in app.ts we just defined a class after that we define two functions add users and remove users and with the help of prototype we can add these two uh, you can say that the functions also so now you may have a next question what is the prototype you can say that this is the special feature of uh, javascript that can add more functions to inside a function so we already have a user function so we can add uh, add users and remove user inside this function and we can create an object from this function because this is a constructor function right or you can say that this is a type of class but this is not a uh, you can say that modern thing this is a fairly old thing that we using our since javascript just introduced and uh, Alright, so this is a basic introduction. So now what actually happened if I am just changing this ECMAScript 5 to 6 and now let's again if you want to that you can delete this file even this is not required it can override it but still I want to delete this file and after that let me just compile it and now you will find that you are getting a very familiar code. Here you can see that we have a class here so why we have a class whenever we are compiling with ecmascript 6 the reason is ecmascript 6 actually uh, support the oops concept here we can define the classes inside it functions and other things that's why whenever you will compile your ecmascript code with the 6 you will find that there is classes and all there is a many uh, latest feature but with the previous version like ecmascript 3 and uh, five these are not actually introduced these features right 
and if you want to compare it you will find that there is a one difference in ECMAScript uh, compiled file ECMAScript 6 compiled file we don't have these two properties so why they are not property some guys maybe think that uh, we did not use these property that's why they are not defined actually not in ECMAScript 6 also uh, properties inside class classes are not introduced that's why uh, they are actually not present inside our uh, compiled code one more thing if you will just simply put here types type thing let's say string and number and all you will find that the, these are not only uh, also present inside our uh, app dot component because typescript uh, support basically uh, that typed things like string uh, number and all but ECMAScript doesn't support them also so this is the two difference uh, other things for a class are always same in a TypeScript and ECMAScript. Thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel.